Good morning. Our objectives for today are 1. Define ground tackle. 2. Familiarized on the equipment used in anchoring. 3. Study on the markings of the anchor chain. And last, is to study on the parts of the anchor. Ground tackle. Ground tackle is the collective term applied to all equipment used in anchoring. It includes the anchor, the anchor road, and all other connecting parts as well as the equipment, such as windlass and winches. Windlass, windlass is a device usually installed on the foxhole deck, and of special design for heaving the anchor. A sprocketed and grooved wheel is called Wildcat. It is fitted with ridges called whelps, which are used to grip the anchor chain links and prevent it from slipping. Riding pawl. Riding pawl locks the Wildcat, preventing the chain from running out the hosepipe. Devil's Claw. Devil's Claw is a steel hook or a wire crossed inside the chain, secured with a turnbuckle and acts as a preventer. And last is, anchor. Anchor are generally heavy casting, or forging, comprising a shank with a large shackle or ring at one end, and two arms with flukes at the other end. Anchors are shaped to grip the sea bottom and to hold a vessel in a required position, regardless of wind and current. Marking the cable is extremely important, since it is the only way of readily determining how much chains has already paid out. Markings are colored in red and white. Count the numbers of white. And that is the number of shackles paid out. In the picture you can see a part of an anchor chain. Red link is larger than the other. It is called, the loveless joining shackle. On its left, and right, are the white links, called the common links. Count the number of white. And it will indicate how much shackles has been paid out. Therefore, in this example, we had paid out three shackles on the water. Anchors are primarily used in holding ship's position. Now, let us synthesize its parts. Crown. Crown is a reinforced point, at which arm and shank are joined. Tripping palm. Tripping palm, is the flat face of the fluke, and, forces the fluke to dig in. Fluke. Fluke, is a part that actually digs into the bottom, and, the part which takes hold on the bottom. P, or bill. P or bill is the point, of the fluke. Shank. Shank is the main part, or the vertical shaft of the anchor. And last is, head. Head, is the part which the crown, arms, and flukes, are forged in one piece. This unit is pivoted on the shank, so that, it can swing from 30 degrees, to 45 degrees, either side of the shank. To complete your familiarization in, anchoring operation, please take a look on the provided to-do list.